Jai Guru. Let's start with a salutation. Focus your mind onto one point. Anchor the mind and the distractions spreading all around, getting distracted onto one point. Maybe it's the breath. Maybe the point between the eyebrow. Maybe a divine guru, divine mother, Babaji. With that, we start with our salutation. Asato ma sat kamaya Tamaso ma jutir kamaya Mrityar ma amritam kamaya Om Shanti 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 O Divine Mother, Mother of the Universe, Jagat Janani Mahavta Kalpi Yogi Babaji, the deathless master Kalpa Yogi, Sri Sri Krishna, Brahma Vishnu Maheshwara, Guru Devas of all religion, Sri Sri Lairi Mahasai Paramamsha Yogananda. Swami Sri Vivekananda, Holy Mother Sharada, Paramahamsa Ramakrishna. Saints of all religion, gods and goddesses, hold our hand, guide us from unreal to real. Take us from ignorance of not knowing and suffering to wisdom to knowledge of light and remove the darkness. Take us from death to immortality. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Jai Guru and welcome everyone. Good to see you all. Today is also Father's Day. <laughs> the very special fathers of the world Everybody goes around, no? Vijay, sir. And the fathers, you know, we are always doing Teacher's Day, Guru Purnima is coming up this coming month, next month, I think it's 17th of July. Then you have Navaratra Day, you have Diwali Day, you have Christmas Day, your Mother's Day. <laughs> so, you know, there is a very kind hearted gentleman, William Jackson Smart, was his name, American. Now, uh, if you recollect, those of you uh, may not have studied very much, but you will remember. 1861 to 1865 in the United States of America at Civil War, terrible war, a lot of massacre. So, William Jackson Smart was one of the great warrior, veteran of that Civil War. And then as a veteran, he retired from there and he was blessed with five grandsons. His daughter's name was Sonora, Sonora Smart Ted. And those five grandchildren, the grandfather, the father wasn't there. Grandfather chose to raise them and spent his entire lifetime as a grandfather to bring up these five kids. And each one of them went out and did brilliantly well in life. The Sonora appealed to the American people 
to have one day when you can recognize the fathers till then fathers were insignificant so it was decided to make it third sunday of the month of june and the first time it started was in 1910 10th of june it just let me know something i thought you should know you should share and today is the third week of june this father's day changes from country to country but in india it is the same as the third week of june it's a beautiful very powerful day you know i was thinking about what should you say like mother's day you know mother is the one who gives birth from a tiny seed mother <laughs> makes the tiny seed into a great giant and the giant grows up just like you know the giant tree californian red oak tree 330 feet tall giant it grows from a tiny seed which you cannot see who does it mother that is the earth mother earth mother nurtures that seed but look at it two things two aspect i was just reflecting on it that entire programming of the 330 feet tall tree imagine fruits plant tree branches roots everything is programmed in that tiny seed what miracle of creation huh yeah? and we are in that world we are looking at our we are not recognizing it we are not understanding it we just take it for granted there's some uh, great writer an american writer with an indian friend both of them had gone down to see this californian redwood oak tree forest you know in california as you all know you have seen many of the earthquake and fire and you know many films have come up on california as a city so it is famous for flood and tornado and katrina and betsy and all those names they give it for those tremendous storms they have destroyed many things including the bridge californian bridge buildings but they could never destroy the californian redwood oak tree forest why how so the the american writer along with going down with the uh, hi come come good to see you come <laughs> hi jack okay. so we are talking about the fathers day <laughs> the right on time no mothers <laughs> in the californian redwood oak tree which is programmed under the ground by the mother earth on that tiny seed seed has entire program but to nurture it into a giant 330 feet tall tree the mother who does that the father has given the programming now to so these two the american writer and the indian gentleman who's the spiritual who is talking about it as passing through a forest officer was explaining to a group of kids why californian redwood oak tree forest never got destroyed by californian earthquakes and tornadoes and betsy and katrina nothing could happen to it or a flood how so the river forest officer is saying do you know this once a tree a tiny seedling is coming up the seedling it's the root of the tree is start to spread normal tree but in the californian redwood oak tree it must be happening i was just reflecting must be happening with our people tree also you know our people tree is you know they go from aerial root and also the ground root and spread like that but i have never read about it 
but I read about this. The Californian redwood oak tree, what they do, the tiny sapling, it starts to spread its root and the giant trees, their roots are also reaching out under the ground. And the moment they find a tiny root, they hold on to it. And so it's a mass of root jungle under the ground and holding over on each other, which wind can uproot it. <laughs> so nothing happens to Californian redwood oak tree forest. So I was just thinking that look, this fantastic programming is there in the sea. Mother develops it. The father is the backbone. Father said, like if you notice in a busy marriage home, mother is the one who is running round and round and round. Yeah. Father is sitting in one corner quietly, maybe having a smoke or a drink or chatting with some friend quietly. And once in a while, mother will come running and say something, whispering, and all father does. And mother is going in. Now mother is again running around. Maybe after 10 minutes again. But this is exactly how, notice the Divine Mother Kali, she is the one supposed to be the Prakriti, Maya. It's created the whole universe. It's happened because of Mother Kali. But as per Vedanta, this is not Advaita Vedanta, but Sankhya Vedanta. Sankhya Vedanta says that it's because of Lord Shiva. <laughs> Lord Shiva, one quietly. If you notice, Durga Puja will come up now, October. In a huge Durga Mata statue with four sons. She's supposed to be the Virgin Mother, like Jesus Christ, Mother Mary. How can Durga Mata, Mother Chandi, have kids? So they are called her Manas Putra for you and me to be guided by the Rishi that created it. How? See, Durga Mata is who? Destroyer of all evil. For who? Yours and my evil. She's the one who comes in and tells who is the Mahisasu, the Asura demon. The demon king is that evil tendency in you and I. And mother's trident is striking on his chest. And mother's one foot, if you look carefully, is pressing down the shoulder of the demon. And the lion on which mother is riding, lion's one paw is on his left chest. Why left chest? Anahata chakra. You know, they are all very deep meaning. And mother's trident is striking the same. The animal tendencies are killed. The moment they're killed is the birth of four children. The first is who? Kartikya. Who is Kartikya? Brahmachari, tremendously in love with mother. And what? He never married. He sees the whole world is my mother. Have you noticed how beautiful the rishis have created these stories? This is the, how the mythological messages to us through the Purana and Chandi Purana and things like that. Kartikya is what? Detachment. Kartikya is Viveka. What is Viveka? Discrimination. What is right? What is wrong? And <laughs> pushing away wrong, holding on to right. That's why Vivekananda is called Viveka. Then Vairag, Kartikya. And then what? Love for mother. Devotion. Then comes Mother Saraswati. If you look, it, this is how it goes the sequence. Extreme right is Kartikya. Extreme left is Ganesha. Saraswati. Mother Saraswati, she gives wisdom. Knowledge. What does Ashoka Stamba say in our? What does it say? Very few Indians know it. You all know it because we have been talking again and again. Ashoka Stamba, what's written on it? 
सत्यमेव जायते ट्रूथ अलोन विल विन एंड इट्स अ मांडक्य उपनिषद and we in the boss of the forgot 95 96% of the parent whenever they ask you know your national flag yes sir do you know your ashok stambha yes sir what's written on it <laughs> most a few of them do remember now that truth is bada saraswati gives you that wisdom we go to school to learn to write and read and do arithmetic Three hours: writing, reading, arithmetic. Mother Saraswati. That's what we do. Akshar Dhan, Puja. Mother Saraswati was the Hindus do that, right? Mother Saraswati gives you what? It's called Sadhana Chatushta. For sounds little complicated. It's not. It's just simple understanding. First is Viveka. Second is Vairag. third third point is actually sixth point rishi that hidden it inside the third point the first six it it goes like shama dama titiksha uparati like that the word is shama controlling of scattering of the mind you remember as we saw it today i said focus your mind concentrate on to the till now we been thinking they thinking that you know these uh, today's the mobile technology they are what is to draw your attention your mobile is there you're doing very serious reading maybe you know doing some office work but mobile they they to help you to do that but what do they do their job is to draw your attention so what will they do ting something will come and you are studying you will look like this you know the study shows it takes 12 seconds for you to get back to your work there is total human mind can have 126 bits of attention at one moment most of us are operating with less than 10 and out of that the the our so called smart phones are designed to draw your attention it takes 12 seconds to get back to once again back into focus and what is it continuously bombarding so what happens at the end of the day you switch off the thing uh, many i i noticed very i had gone for a walk so what, what is it i didn't carry my mobile <laughs> the people have started realizing it now then comes scattering of the mind scattering of motor action shama dama control what is it five senses and we have 19 five senses five motor like hand leg and like that there are 19 of them i'll not get into detail controlling of that is dama then titiksha i'm not going to give up come whatever may i will show you show you you is who the world the people my mother my father why because they say you are not studying at all i'll show you titiksha come whatever may after titiksha is uparati once you control your senses from scattering of mind senses controlling uparati is get it within not out Have you noticed our senses are so designed beautifully to take your mind away? No, what are you doing? I covered it last Sunday in detail. Today I'll just briefly mention. Have you noticed the moment you were born? Think. It's a tremendous realization. Not mine. It is Shankar Acharya and Vivekananda's realization. The moment we are born, my universe is born with me. Think, you are born. The moment you are born, isn't your mother born with you? Funny statement, though. But just say, does the baby know whose mother? No. The moment mommy comes into the being, when, when the baby is born, just like that, to the baby, the father comes into reality. 
moment the baby is born no and baby starts to recognize with its five senses it gets solidified the moment the universe is born how the moment the baby is born so my universe is where within me and this is what advaita vedanta said not some kind of philosophy advaita says hey your universe is not out there that out there is because of the five senses i realize it taste it eat it touch it smell it enjoy it get scattered with my five senses and that takes you out and it comes and feeds it through the body through the brain and the brain in turn through the eyes and the ears gives it to the mind and see my mind can't do anything i'm conscious if i'm unconscious if i'm in coma and worse is zero consciousness what is it when i'm dead <laughs> my body is there have you realized suppose any all come in to pay last respect to robin goes because he's dead do you come inside and ask where is robin goes have you ever reflected you <laughs> don't no. is away the body that's not robin goes but today what do i say where is robin goes here this is me you know you are here listen to a talk on vedanta so your friends ask you where were you sunday we wanted you for cricket match <laughs> you say i was you know listening to sir talking on vedanta i said you went alone you say no my father was there supposing they ask you how do you know ask you how do you know your father was there you see your mukhi i saw him he was with me now think they ask you how do you know you were there will you say ask my father no say do you mind i was there they say yes i know but how do you know that how do you know that <laughs> this what i asked you the other day how do you know you're a boy you get my point i was asking the girl and you and how do you know that you're a girl or a boy how do we know it is that consciousness which makes you say i am so many age my birthday my function or whatever whatever it goes on the my universe is born the moment i am born and my universe dies the day i die <laughs> i is who consciousness doesn't die consciousness is always present eternally present you cannot perceive it touch it see it taste it smell it but it's always there just like i realize the world and the universe and work with it to acquire my name fame money property etc of working with it but what is happening in this i was just reflecting that we are disconnected from the true i which makes it happen so i wanted to say this today's father's day <laughs> i said what should we call it i thought of you know we have forgotten and we say i have to work hard no we were just having a chat two days back so amit sir was saying i have to work hard i said no stop working hard you know when our kids i, I was telling them so how much are you going to score so they were saying 45 42 48 that was the highest i said why isn't anybody saying 56 this is 56 not possible so hold it that why so we have to work very hard who had to work we have to work very hard i said don't work hard this is really i said yeah then i said i'll show you a way it will happen and notice three courses now shada mom's teams the working with that three mbappe five three dp every time the world topic coming out from this how 
very simple it's called awareness just like you know you're here how do you know your awareness that awareness if we can infinitely powerful so i thought the ideal topic would be ask father at home ask father in the heaven <laughs> waiting to help you so there is i'll tell you two three small stories from the father that you can go back and share with your champion you know one father taylor poor but very sincere his son he never got education he said i must give the best education to my son and he really worked day and night and mother supported and he continued to work and he managed to give him the best education the son also worked very diligently he realized and he worked with all his faculty and became very successful and he became in that district the they had one of the top corporate he became the president so the father one day the tailor father said let me go and meet my son in his office he had never been to his office he goes to give a surprise to his son he goes and they say top floor and he goes to the top floor and and not like a hindi film they didn't allow him or something like that he was allowed he went in there and he goes inside and the son so father he jumped up from his chair and came running and the dad and gave a big hug please come please come he said no you go and sit on your chair i want to see you so son goes and sits on the chair father goes at the back and puts his hand on the and he asks the son how does it feel father standing behind the son and putting his hand on his shoulder very lovingly said how does it feel <laughs> son he looked up at the father father asked another question who is the most powerful man on this earth father this story okay <laughs> son says me father says well fell father with thinking he will say you father totally hard said i have worked all my life to bring up this monkey and this monkey says me so father patted his shoulder and he said now it's time for me to go and he's quietly leaving son you continue father forgives no it's okay let him be here he's leaving just before leaving He said, "Can't be. I know my son. Let me ask him again." So again, he turns around. Son, who is the most powerful man on this district? So he said, "You." He said, "What? You just told me it was you, no?" He said, "Dad, when I said it was me, because you were standing behind me with your hand on my shoulder. I am the most powerful man." because you supported me you know when i heard this story my hair stood up <laughs> but now you have left me and you gone there so you are the one who is the most powerful do we don't ask for help father came and gave a big hug and they had a little tear session and think we are forgetting to ask the father at home father in the heaven or we think father is too old now and now i have to <laughs> father remain the father the son and the father second story decides summer holiday let's go and chill out mommy make some picnic only son you come and driver will come and pick you up you prepare a lunch i will go down and select a good place in the forest nearby forest let's go to the forest calm forest so they go to the forest and father said son how do you like this spot sunset very nice the 
father says okay you sit here enjoy the scenery let me go and pick up a little bit of drift food to we have to light a fire no mother will bring food we heat it up one fire the father goes to pick it up and son was also looking around he stumbles on a little stone and falls down and as he falls down he says ouch he heard another voice saying ouch he is very surprised 19 years old he says who said this he said who are you voice comes in who are you <laughs> he who is that voice comes back who is that son says you coward come out and speak voice come back you coward come out and speak <laughs> father comes back he says father is somebody else here is speaking to me the father realized son said see i will just show you son said you are coward voice come back you are coward <laughs> son said see father said and he shouts you are the winner <laughs> the voice comes back you are the winner father turns around and explains to the son about echoing mountain and then tells him you know something our life is like this that's why i brought you here what you do what you speak what you think is going to come back to you that is why the master say shub shub bolo shub shub karo why because what you do what you think what you speak bhagavad gita is say very powerful so kindness love who's important you we are grown up believing i am important i am not the one it is you who's you start with i always say start with mom then dad then grandparent then the brother sisters then the neighbors then the society district country world pretty of awesome. them and the beauty is the moment you smile at them they smile back at you can you smile in the mirror will the mirror scowl back it can but we say why should i smile <laughs> people are saying take care of the other people first you say why should i take care of other people it's their job to take care of me so we are suffering out here because of wrong notions father is waking the message is ask seek help there is this father and the son driving down to the forest again and there's a big boulder on the jungle track in the car so father said son go out and push it out the son goes out and try he couldn't push it son from outside is saying the father leaned out and said come on try harder He said, "Father, I tried." He said, "Try harder." He again tried. Good son, didn't work. He comes and says, "Father, I'm trying my best." Father asks, "Have you tried with everything that you have?" Come on. The son looks at father, goes, "Try." What, father? From outside, he says. the father as did you ask me <laughs> i am also here why don't you ask me you have me don't you we forget that today is it this just to remind you all of the father's day today is, uh, we are going to talk about the path of action karma yoga in brief because it's a huge subject and in brief we will talk about it karma actually comes with the word 
क्री हैव यू नोटिस व्हाट वी प्रैक्टिस इज अद्वैत वेदांत एंड क्रिया योग क्रिया योग आल्सो स्टार्ट्स विद क्री क्री इज एक्शन बट द क्री एक्शन ऑफ द कर्म योग हैज गॉट टू मीनिंग्स वन इज एक्शन डूइंग द अदर इज वेरी पावरफुल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट व्हिच वी फॉरगेट everything that you do is going to come back to you <laughs> this we forget that another meaning of kri it opposite what i send out is going to come back to me so you know there is this one monk he is traveling from scandinavian country to canada and by air he's talking about it i have been to hear him talk He is saying, "I had a beautiful, illuminating experience in the air." So there is this girl, about eighteen, nineteen months old, young baby, with a mother sitting next to me, and proud mother, eighteen, nineteen months, and showing. There is Mr. Bear, and she is asking. Mother is talking to the baby. So the the monk says, "The first thing I realized." Uh, he is Swami Sarvapriyananda, very famous, world famous. I kind of look at him like as if Swami Vivekananda, and, and like he speaks like him. He is. He says, "I didn't know that such tiny babies understand the all language of the mother. The all mothers and fathers know that. I didn't know that. He is a monk. He said I realized it that the baby is understanding everything. The mother is asking." Gloria, where is Mr. Bear? Understand? There is a very powerful meaning in this, and he realizes the Advaita meaning. She said, "Hmm, hmm, can't talk. Nineteen years old, eighteen years old, can't speak at this." She points at it. This is that Mr. Bear is there, maybe window sill or something like that. Then the mother and. Uh, he is saying because of my orange clothes, some of the baby took liking to with me. So, the, as mother asked second time, where is Mr. Bear? So he says she with a big eye looks at me, looks at me and says, mm -mm, <laughs> telling me that Mr. Bear. Mother says, look, look, look at the aeroplane. So Gloria looks at him and say, mm -mm. <laughs> that is aeroplane that is cloud that is sky mother is talking and she is pointing it out then mother ask takes out her mobile and takes out glorious picture and this thing she are uh, the mother ask gloria and who is this and gloria did not look at me me that monk is saying and say gloria said i am <laughs> she said see from this age onwards we grow up say i am the one who is this i name form function nama roopa bhavahara body a name and what i do and from there generates into i am so and so i am a boy i am a man i am a woman i am a mother i am a father i am a brother whatever you see this is what it exactly so now there is one doctor in edinburgh he is an oncologist he says all my life i have never believed in god but i was and he is writing the letter He is writing in that letter to Sain Swami Sarvapriyananda Nuli. He is he is saying, he is writing to me. You know, I can through the X-ray identify every part of the human body. I can tell which is this part, which is this part. And I was looking at my own. I was looking at it, and I was asking myself, in this. which is me which is me is it that part of me and say outside is this hand is me 
is the leg is me is his head is me which is me and this is what we are missing out and we say this is me nadvaita vedanta says discover who are you who are you who am i who is this me you know if you look at uh, a matchbox matchbox has got the power to light this whole society into fire no can be burning just by one matchstick it has the potential inside a flint you know which we use for cigarette light a flint it has the power where inside inside that flint where is the matchstick fire inside the stick but somebody has to strike it so the teacher the guru the father mother and the called shravanam vedantic way listen and read both are called shravanam listen and read you know as you read you're listening to yourself then manana reflect think ask question notice ib says inquiry based ask question so you confirm it as teacher guru whatever ask yourself do more research call research ask question the power is inside a beautiful discovery this is swami vivekananda's discovery he said we go ahead and tell isaac newton discovered the forces of gravity i think 1670 he said before him forces of gravity wasn't there <laughs> it was there and you say he has discovered it no he is not discovered it he is he uses the word uncovered it it was there so what is the simile here that flint uncovering is learning to strike it the wisdom the knowledge and the power of coding 56 out of 56 is inside you you have to uncover it when you uncover you can call it discover it's okay i discovered who am i this is that uh, journey which he said you think vivekananda is he he is saying do you think isaac newton discovered it now was it do you say why the apple fell is it why didn't millions of people see an apple fall before it everybody has seen it how come they didn't discover it he is the only one he started to do what thinking power of mind started to twelve into it do research into it why why did it fall why didn't it go up he is asking why was it was it there in the center of the earth that when the apple fell it came out and crawled out and entered i think to there he says no he did it was always there just like the flint just like the matchstick he says was it inside the apple like a worm it came out and stuck on his head after he fell he said no it is always there what did the apple do apple did called power of suggestion it suggested something so you all today if i talk to you you will understand but if i asked you 1902 15th november it there in london museum this statement which i am referring to his name is mr bishop right he was a lord bishop right was asked to inaugurate one saint exhibition as he inaugurated they are sir two of your sons have got a stall in this exhibition and they are saying they're going to fly what is your opinion <laughs> 15 november 1902 Bishop Wright smiled and said, "My sons do not realize that if God wanted us to fly, God would have given us wings and feathers." <laughs> This is Bishop Wright's statement is there in London Museum. Eighteen days after, second December nineteen zero two, just eighteen days after, first aircraft flew, Wilbur Wright or Wilbur Wright. Today, if I tell you, is it okay? Where the ticket? 
what time what flight so the you know what you cannot think you cannot imagine why because of our ignorance we don't know you know it is 1652 1652 foreign and magellan discovered earth is round you know what they did to him in london you all must be knowing they killed him throwing stones who ordered it church ordered it teaching us wrong thing kill him they threw stones and killed him google it you will find 1652 foreign and magellan london today if i say earth is flat you all will get up and walk away from here why should we listen to this fool what is it wisdom knowledge so what our intention is to spread two things in the message of the advaita it the knowledge of the vedanta become aware use it in your own life and the people around you help them to discover what that power which is inside we waiting inside not like a volcano it there use it and change your life you know aladdin's wonderland we all love that story and we all i used to ask my mother after hearing that story she jokingly used to say you know those days the bartan wali used to come <laughs> with the bartan and mother will exchange old bartan and get new bartan with some sari or something like that used to be the thing they will give you the sari or they will give bartan whatever it is right <laughs> So I read that story so I asked mother how can I get a lamp like that she said you asked the bartan wali so I used to keep on poking her where is that lamp can I rub it and she used to smile and she would say to play along with me okay next time I'll see I have got it What Advaita Vedanta is saying, that lamp is you. That lamp is inside you. All you need to become, what is rubbing? It's becoming aware. What is there in the flint stone? You have to strike it, no? It's there to create the fire. What is there inside the matchstick? You have to strike it. You have to learn how to strike it. That's it. That's all is unfolding, uncovering the power from the universe. And this is what are the four methodology which talking about you know the first book which vivekananda brought it out is raja yoga in 1895 in manhattan new york call it raja yoga it's called patanjali yoga sutra he just translated it and put his own remarks on that yeah and j b challenger one of the great novelists at that time and after that he wrote vivekananda wrote after raja yog karma yog this book and jv challenger says it will be worth for all the youths of america men women boys and girls to carry these books in their pocket <laughs> will give them a great life and reading we are not reading them i just think it makes me sad the essence of two of them are what two message discover the wisdom the knowledge of the vedanta i wish somebody had talked to me at your age i would be somebody great <laughs> whatever it was today it's time for us to start discovering harvard divinity school is talking about it doing research NYU New York University David Chalmers google it mind brain consciousness unit studying vedanta even thompson i shared with you all the book the other day even thompson british columbia university in canada writing about what waking dreaming being mandak upanishad chakrat sapna shushupti being is susupti we, we talked about it is that durya the fourth that light 
We are experiencing what? Every one of us. Waking straight right now. Right? Without consciousness. Second is dream sleep. When we go up to sleep, we are dreaming. Our body is there, our mind is there. Another mind comes in. Another body comes in. Maybe in Florida or maybe in Himalaya. I am going around with maybe Babaji, Yogi Bar. I am doing something in my dream. Maybe a dinosaur is chasing me, a tiger. And I wake up and I say, Thank God it was a dream. So waking, dreaming. And the third is susupti, deep sleep. Where the mind goes off to sleep, totally, no thinking, no mind. So you are beyond mind. That is deep sleep. All human beings pass through these three stages, which we call it our life. Advaita Vedanta say, no, there is a Chaturtham. What is that? Turiya. Turiya means in Sanskrit, ancient Sanskrit is fourth. What is that fourth? That fourth is same as we all seeing Omkar. Om. What is it? A, O, and M. A is waking. I didn't know all this before. We have been doing Om, Om like a monkey all around. No? We didn't know. A is what? It stands for waking when you are awake. O stands for, you know, A, A U, M in English, they write it like that. It is not Au. It is O because A and U makes it O in Sanskrit. The O and that O is the dream sleep and M mm is the deep sleep. And then, where is the fourth then? Another discovery. <laughs> you know, if you sing Om and after that, once your breath finishes, you become silent. No? And you take a deep breath. As you take a deep breath, that's the silence. That silence is Chaturtham. That Turiya. That silence is actually who you and I are. What is that silence? It's the consciousness. It's the light of the light. And that light of the light, if you and I can become just aware, you can't get connected. It's too, it's infinite. Impossible to talk about it. And tiny fragment of that has created you and me. This universe, the galaxies, the planets, the rainforest. All you and I have to do is just be aware. The other day, Thapliyal uh, Sir, Vijay Sir, we were having sessions. It was a Sunday. 25th of April. No? <laughs> Thomas Cup badminton match final. For the first time, India has never played. I was talking to the other Usha, right? So, then, Indian team, how do we apply this knowledge and talking to you? Like, how do you get 56 out of 56? These are my P5. You have to do that. And it's not, it's not hard work. It's being aware. You know, the beauty is when you're aware, you cannot help but work hard. <laughs> but now you're working with great fun. How? How does it happen? Let's say we are all going to play cricket, all of us, in the lawn there. Right? Everybody's going to play cricket. And let's say you're doing bowling. And we are our fielders. And you're going to do batting. When you're going to do the bat, when she goes to bat, your intention is what? To bowl her out first ball. Right? All bowlers want to do that, no? What does the batsman think? Are you thinking I'm going to go out in the first ball? <coughs> no. Are you thinking Sapko the Kaumba, 100, I'm going to score a century? You should. You tell me, even grandma goes to bat, she is not thinking. She says, Dikha <laughs> dao. We think like that. I'll show you. You should. 
Signed. That's right. What is that 100 out of 100? It's 56 out of 56. You have to think of it. You have to make up your mind. I don't know how. You can say that. I don't know how. I never done it before. So what? <coughs> when I was bought, you didn't learn how to walk. You slowly, you fell down many a time, but you learned to walk. You learned, we learned to do everything like that. So just like that, if we just tap into this little bit, become aware. So, <laughs> There's a very smart gentleman, young boy. He asked me, sir, if it is so simple, then why are people still suffering? Why are we still struggling? Why are we all rich and happy and joyful? A very good question. So there is a tiny catch. And that catch is that sadhana chatushta. You have to be pure. No telling life. They were the first day when you came hold on to truth, purity. That we don't want to do it. I'm a joking. No, no, no. Even in a joke. No. Telling lies. Not even thinking. <laughs> Forget about talking. If the thought comes, what do I do? I don't know how to do it. Sadhana Chatushta will tell you. Anchor your mind, your words with the breath. So you follow the breath. Mind will tend to do, tend to, because we are grown up like that. We are grown up telling lies. How can I suddenly stop telling lies? No, telling is an action that you can. Thinking is also an action. How do I purify it? Replace it with a good word. So you got two bowls. The practice of this is done in the Buddhism. They have a two bowl in front and a third bowl right in front. This side is black stone on the left side, right side is white stone. As I sit down to meditate, Buddhists try this. This is called mindfulness meditation. Billion dollar industry in the world today, in America, particularly all over. Vipassana is a part of that mindfulness meditation. So if you've got a dirty thought, funny thought, stupid thought, you take a black stone and put it in the front. Without opening eye, you know this is where it is. If you got a good thought, take a white stone and put it there. Initially, you will find only one, two, three white stones and all are black. And soon, slowly, you will see white is increasing. How? Practice. Keep practicing, anchoring your mind with the breath. How does it happen? Nature does it. Who is nature? You. Who is you? Consciousness ever pure. But we are not using it. What are we using? Mind. Mind is not consciousness. We think mind is consciousness. I think with mind. I read with mind. Yes, read. Mind does. Mano, buddhi, chitta, ankar. Four things are of the mind. Mind, not it. Buddhi, intellect, memory, ego, they are all functions of the mind. Consciousness. That is separate. So that consciousness is never dead. It's always there. It's like, uh, very easy to understand and difficult to understand otherwise. Very easy to understand. Consciousness is like this light. Two understanding. First thing, these bulbs, before they were put in here, they were in the store. No? Were they lighting in the store? Were they burning in the stove? Tell me, think. They're in the rack, no? Waiting to be sold. They're not lit. They wish have one to show it will light like that. But it is lying in the store. The computer was lying in the store. It is sending billions of, you know, bytes of data now. But it is lying in the store. This camera, that microphone, it is lying in the store, not doing anything. So the question comes in, what got into them for it to happen? What got into it? See, you and I know it's electricity, right? 
question is what got into that gentleman who became billionaire what got into the gentleman who is a beggar what got into the gentleman a girl who took the world what got into it this is called focusing concentration focus being aware and being focused so now you have those four yogas we talked about it karma raja raja first came karma what does raja yoga do the rishi is the same the problem is your mind is not focused mind is scattered so what do we do you have to learn to focus it what creates that samsara is your mind what creates suffering fight quarrels mind jesus christ in sermon of the mount say the beautiful sentence and holy mother sharada says the same thing but in in her own words she said she said mother said and it's written i'll show you that book i always carry it in my pocket at the back of it it says i think you have a copy huh? yeah it says don't find fault with others <laughs> and what did jesus christ say jesus christ said if you want peace then accept others will and this is what it means which is written in the third floor manhattan united nation building in a big stone it's written do unto others what you would like others to do unto you you know you be kind and loving if you want others to be kind and loving with you so notice they are all leading like this so raja yoga the scattering of the mind to so rishi the say all right so what should you do go beyond mind how do you do it patanjali yoga sutra ashtanga yoga you know yama niyama like that the goal is to dhyana samadhi samadhi go to samadhi go beyond mind advaita vedanta say all right you gone beyond you gone to samadhi right when you come out of samadhi will your bank debts be paid you with me will your fight with your wife finish <laughs> will your neighbor will will your neighboring country will stop fighting with you no you go into samadhi <laughs> think i come to take so samadhi is certainly an answer champion welcome back how was your holiday good good we were missing you here aspavi <laughs> okay come so samadhi is certainly an answer at that point of time and when you keep on getting into repeated samadhi you will get purified and you will reach that but every time you come out you have to face the world so what is advaita vedanta say become aware aware and side by side he said don't forget to do meditation that means i have to become aware no meditation no 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 so those all four paths what is it raja yoga practice those practices what we talk about the breathing technique the meditation the kriya yoga you must practice and then karma yoga do well do good work when you create the good energy it cannot whatever you create will come back to you call boomerang karma karma kri sanskrit word action as well as the reaction it has to come back to you it will come back and then bhakti yoga love for god divine mother bhavati krishna shiva allah christ you can call jal you can call pani my thinking about talking today karma yoga is because of this girl she asked me the other day about karma yoga <laughs> so what 
whatever you call it illiterate person they will say pani hai somebody in french will say you somebody let's say britisher will say water <laughs> somebody from south will say tanni does it change it doesn't change so the supreme consciousness is one with every one of us you may go ahead and follow whichever religion ways religion meaning comes from the word rally gears a way of life we are doing it somebody does it like this somebody does it like that somebody does it like this it doesn't matter but do it <laughs> so bhakti yog somebody say listen listen raja yog is very difficult i can't do it i will go and do karma yoga it's not easy no when i sit down to meditate my mind goes to 10000 i can't do it i do karma yoga karma yoga is very easy do good work no you must have seen in obituary in newspapers and all that when you read sometimes you will find in a card you get a somebody maybe a billionaire who must have been so there is word karma and there is word karma yoga they different karma is work a billionaire he must have been a great worker honest good worker created great empire but is a karma yogi no he is not a karma yogi he is a done great work karma yogi is when you do work without expectation or nishkama karma swakama karma i'm doing this so that i get my profit and margin we all are thinking about that no return i get the birthday gift and i try to look at the price tag <laughs> i have to return him on his birthday no i am trying to check how much is the bill i okay this is robin goes to me all right this is 500 bucks okay kya dekh rahe hain the so we are always trying to analyze like being able to receive with grace can only empower you to being able to give with grace you can't give unless you know how to receive we love to give no danam all of us want to do that but you notice somebody comes and gives it to you first thing you say kya zarurat tha why did you spend so much of money not an you know not be able to give it who is the giver and who is the receiver now look at it advaita vedanta you know when they do in rishikesh lakshman chula they do worship you know ganga puja have you noticed how they do ganga puja they doing ganga aarti and then do ganga abhishek with the water which water is it ganga pani it's the same ganga water they take it out from mother ganga and put the same water back into ganga so there is somebody who you know we we know him for i think 24 25 years ganesh parad in devaprayag he is a tall sardar at the 18 age he left home to become a monk and he is a monk those days i was searching it on in himalaya whenever i got a chance to go and search for where does baba ji live <laughs> and in that uh, in the cave just outside the cave remember there was a picture baba ji's picture so went inside i saw somebody lying down with a uh, blanket you can see somebody lying down sleeping and there were a lot of lot of bartans all around so we were four five of us looking at it see the baba ji's picture how did it come here usual thing and suddenly this kambal wakes up and he must have heard is a mai baba ji <laughs> so 
I started talking to him. He's Ganesh Maharaj. And this Ganesh Maharaj yesterday he was talking. So what we do, he doesn't have anything. So we send a tiny bit of money every month on 6th of every month. So he gets it for his, he had, you know, those bartan he feeds. He feeds all the fish and he feeds all the monks and all that. So <laughs> he is saying, he, he loves Shadama and me and he said, uh, Sharada Maya and Aap Hamara Mai Baap hai. I said, you're a typical like a monk. I said, no. She said, tab kya? I said, aapke Gunga Maya aapke baap hai. <laughs> Aap unse mil rahe aapko. Am log kaun hai? Am log Amazon.com delivery ka hai. So, you're delivery kar rahe. So, when you learn to receive and learn to give, knowing I'm not the giver, I'm not the receiver. I'm doing the work. Yes, I'm receiving it. I'm giving it. But I'm not the one. Yes, I have the resources to the energy or knowledge of the energy or aware of the energy. I am utilizing it. Same way, when you go on to this wisdom, karma, raja, bhakti, and wisdom comes jnana yoga. I'm aware now. I know it. And that takes you across to the different world that I'm not this body. Yes, I this body is my app. I'm not a girl, I'm not a boy. I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm not a father, I'm not a mother. I'm playing the role of that. Yes, I'm using this computer like an app. See, I'm using this computer, I'm using this clock. Do I say this clock is me? I say, this is me, think. Now imagine that oncologist from Ontario who sent this message. This is me. Imagine this hand. Now, think. Is this hand me? Now I'm localizing to this body. Is this me? I say no. Which is me? <laughs> now, the awareness, the conscious, is it in the part of this hand? Or is it part of this part? You say this part. Think, is it? Isn't that consciousness in this hand too? So this is the confusion and vagueness. Why? Ignorance, not being aware. Being aware. I use the clock. I say my clock, my computer, my car. I also say my body. No? But how come I don't say the clock is me, the computer is me, the car is me, but I say this is me. You understand? Why? Because we have grown up like that. So sure, go ahead. Utilize, take care of the temple where the idol is there. That powerful consciousness. So in the Omkar meditation, you're crystallizing on that light of the light. Jyoti, Jyoti, that brilliance, and you will witness it. I've showed to many one of you, many of you, where is that light? It's inside you. All of you have seen it, most of you. Those of you want to see it after meditation, come, I'll show it to you. How can I show? It's nothing difficult. You can also do it. It just needs a little practice. Practice not in a magic. Alan in Wonderland magic is in the Alan in Wonderland. What about your magic? It's also inside of you, no? So all you need to know is just to become aware of it and use it. But once you start to become, you will suddenly find those suffering, struggle are not there. One more point. Think. We don't like struggles. God, 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 don't let me struggle. No? Tell me one thing. Without struggling, did you reach where you are? <laughs> Wherever a baby learns to walk, he has to learn to stand up and walk. Vijay sir, is your grandson started walking? Not at the end. He is learning now, he's crawling. These, it's called creeping, crawling, and then 
toddling and walking and then running and then become an adult. So, a beautiful sentence. Harder the struggle, better is the victory. Struggle you have. To score 100 in that little gully cricket, you have to work hard. You have to face the bowler. You have to hit a sixer or whatever you have to do. You have to. You can't have it like that. But if you do, you will see the best part is this struggle is fun. Why? I'm enjoying it. I'm loving to do it. A sculptor creating a great statue or a painter or you creating your future. That time when those champions were telling me, so we have to work very hard. I said, no. I'll show you magic. <laughs> the magic of the wonderland is the magic within you. It's like that flint stone in the lighter. It's inside. But you have to learn just to strike it. The matchstick. Learn to strike it. So a teacher, a guru, or your own shravanam listening. That's what we do here. We get together. We discover what, say, Isaac Newton discovered. The Vivekananda said, why? It wasn't there before. How could he discover? <laughs> Columbus discovered India, 1604. Why wasn't it there before? It was there. So, what did he do? Vivekananda I wonder how did they get this beautiful thing? This is uncovered. It was always there. So he said, learn to uncover yourself. So, Shravana. Learn, listen, think, read some. Reading and listening. Then manana, reflect, ask question, try to shoot down, challenge the teacher. Answer will always be there. And then comes Nididhyasana. Firmly establish that understanding which you got in the manana, establish it firmly. Come whatever may. So I was talking to somebody and somebody was saying, you keep talking about Babaji and Divine Mother and all that. Have you experienced it? So I asked him, I thought he would run to <laughs> I asked him, do you experience yourself? He, he said, don't try to get away from the question. I said, I'm not getting away. I'm asking, do you experience yourself? He said, yes. I said, when? Every time. I suppose when I'm not, not awake, when I'm sleeping, I'm not. I said, what does Bhagavad Gita say? What does Vedanta say? Doesn't it say, Aham Brahmasmi? Mahavakya? Mahavakya Aham Brahmasmi says Anusandhanu Vakya. Search. Mahavakya Maham Brahmasmi is supposed to make you search for what? That truth. It goes ahead and tells Pragnana Brahman. Mahavakya. There are four major ones, though there are many more, but generally considered world over for the thousands of years in India. Four. Pragnana Brahman. What does it mean? Consciousness is Brahman. What is Brahman? Taittari Upanishad says, you were thinking, what is Brahman? See, I came to know. <laughs> Brahman is Ishwara, God. What we call God, Divine Mother, Ishwara, Brahman. There is a definition, we'll deal with it another time. So that, Pragnana Brahman. Your consciousness is Brahman. That is who? Where are you? It is within you. Goes on to say, Tat Tvam Asi. You are that. That is what that. Discover it. Uncover it. That light matchstick. Know it is there inside. Just be aware. So, Jnana Yoga is telling, become aware. 
you don't have to search out there. We search for what success there, perfect partner there. I think that girl, that man. <laughs> and the last is I am Atman Brahman. It's called Anubhava I have to feel it, I have to realize it. For Mahavakya. Mahavakya, meaning they're a very powerful word. Uh, people can speak for hours together. Now, today, we will deal with end this session. It, Karma Yoga is a very powerful. So, basically, it takes, it will take a little more time to understand it. Maybe another two sessions, maybe one session. We'll try and crystallize it and make it small. So, karma is work. What is work? Science we have studied. Remember? Definition, force into distance. In other words, motion, movement. No? So, I, I remember, I, I then, uh, you know, catty instructor, pilot, we used to confuse those who were not catty. So, we used to tell him, so, work is force into this. So I'm applying force into this wall with all my force. Am I doing work? No. Why? Because distance is zero. <laughs> right? I can't move the wall. So we used to do calculations and all that. Now, think. Computer, deep blue is fighting against the Grandmaster. Grandmaster loses. He is hurt, he is sad, he is angry. No? The work has been done by the Deep Blue. Is it Karma Yoga? No. So, in the Karma Yoga, there is... There has to be a kind of a sense of ownership to uh, a Google car driving maybe better than you <laughs> you stop in the traffic light and then you stop and you see oh there is no driver there he is driving better than you but he has no sense of understanding appreciation he is just purely reacting by getting data and monitoring it. Same thing is with the computer. That is, that is, they're doing work. Machine is doing a lot of work. Pump, bringing up water, doing a lot of work. But that's not karma yoga. Karma yoga has to have that ownership with yourself. There is something which is also the realization has to be there. A baby takes his glass, your grandson, he drops it. Will you blame the baby? <laughs> no. A guy who is ignorant about it, not aware, for whatever reason. Let's say an Adivasi, who's never seen a mobile and does damages your mobile. You can't blame him. So, your ownership is not valid there. But if when you're aware and do it, then you're punished for your wrongdoing. So here it goes into a little understanding and in which there is a definition with, which is a little tricky, but it's very interesting. Uh, Shankaracharya brought out, what is dharma? What is religion? As per Vedanta, what is understanding? This is for everybody, which we didn't know earlier. It goes ahead and tells it there are two things very important. One is pravritti and one is nivritti. These two means karma yoga is very important with these two points to understand. It's a little technical, but not very. What is pravritti? Pravritti is going outwards. 
and nivriti is coming inwards karma is going out movement motion nivritti is karma yog it's within now with this understanding there is a flood going on this story is very famous for paramahamsa ramkrishna the lots of villages are standing the river is overflowing and taking away a lot of things from other villages maybe their village also they're standing and watching can't do anything a tremendous force of water and they suddenly one of the villager very daring guy he sees a very costly looking blanket is being swept so he despite the flood water he dives into it very good swimmer he goes to bring that and bring it back costly rock is going off <laughs> he goes there and he as he goes near and tries to touch it he realizes it's not a rock it's the balu the bear <laughs> and bear does what bear how the bear immediately caught him because bear wants to save himself bear caught him the villagers from there is saying leave the rock don't get it touched by it leave it let it go you come back and this guy says i have left it but the rug is not leaving me now maine to kambal chhod diya hai kambal ne mere ko nahi chhodna the word this this is called understanding and getting into addiction you start the addiction is a style a little smoking little drinking as the soon the smoking and the drinking is cut you now you can't give up this is where is that the balu this is where is the karma yog gives you what attachment it makes you because you're doing for what you don't want anything it's not swakam it's nishkam I am helping my mother not because my mom is going to say very nice good girl and tell everybody do you know my daughter did this not because of that I do it mom I just love like being near her I want to help her when you take on like that this is where I explain what is nishkam and shakam so it is not just activity karma yoga it is with detachment with the focus inside of you but the essence of the message of today is you should go all four are necessary it is not that raja yoga is very difficult so and do karma yoga karma yoga is very easy doing work for others no i'll go to the neighbor's house and give them a cup of coffee so that she'll say so nice your daughter is very sweet no not because of that i did it because I saw her getting trouble with the daughter and I thought I'll go and help her give her a cup of coffee as she's drinking it I'll take care of the baby So here I don't want anything and if she says it's okay but I don't get affected by it I don't feel elated ah oh, somebody likes me <laughs> No you just do it because you've been born to do something It's supposed to do and the beauty is that's called the viveka real what is real what is not real i know what is not real i discard it i hold on to the reality truth purity which will bring what detachment by rag detachment what automatically scattering of going outwards will stop and I will continue to be the best wife, best husband, best daughter, best son, but I'm not being there because, not because. I've been placed here. I don't have to run up to Himalaya and be in the cave. You miss the boat then. And there is a there is a. beautiful statement that those who lead their family then run off to himalaya they have missed the boat vivekananda words and he said those who plunge in headlong into the samsara and 
working hard to earn money to feed the family and things so that they do are with the book notice in both these cases who's doing it i am the doer but when you are there and you are doing it notice i am not the doer what got into the computer what got into the light bulb for it to be lit it wasn't lighting inside the store i brought it here i plugged it in and switched on the switch then it is light so that is knowing all the time being aware i am not the doer and the amazon.com delivery guy keep telling yourself even if you don't believe in it initially it doesn't matter keep doing your practices even if you don't see the result do it and just watch how can it not that 14 karat gold piece when the jeweler wants it to become 24 karat he puts it in the fire and beats it that piece must be saying jarhe do chhod do i am very happy being 14 i don't want it no must be saying at the building <laughs> but the jeweler doesn't let go and now he takes it out he's become 80 karat or 20 karat now what does he do he heats it again and now he puts it in aqua regia hno3 you know sulfuric acid nitric acid one is to three proportion it body is burning he's saying screaming harder the struggle bigger is the victory and that suddenly it turned around and said i am spider man <laughs> i have done it you haven't there is a jeweler so this is where is the role coming in so viveka vaira then come third which i was covering just before some of you came in is shatta sampatti the third point is got six points rishi is have put it inside quietly called sadhana chatushta this this is the secret why doesn't everybody then become successful everybody's got aladdin wonderland why is everybody struggling because they are not utilizing that power of fear that power of not finding faults with people very simple it's you have to just look at it your baby does many things but you don't find fault see it's okay theek ho jayega grandma never finds fault can we do it okay in sadhana chatushta first is shama controlling of mind dama controlling of your senses and motor action have you noticed some people take a pen and keep on doing like this or moving the legs like this this is called dama can't stop the action so i have to keep doing something and that's where you're doing sadhana chatushta the practice of nidhidasana being still come whatever may don't move initially something will happen maybe your knee will pain a little bit or something it's okay if your knee pains or you feel like coughing or sneezing tell yourself don't sneeze it's not going to help it's okay if you sneeze it's okay if you cough it's okay if you go off to sleep there the you know there the vedanta lecture is going on and suddenly everybody heard a nice snoring sound so they all knew where so the guy was talking he said kya ho gaya sharma ji this happened in uttaranchal actually happened so sharma ji got up and very embarrassed and he said tanik samadhi lag gayi thi i had a little samadhi what vedanta say it's okay if you go up to sleep why because you don't know how tired your body and the mind is you're working 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 you're having some sleep good sleep you're a healthy guy healthy lady but that's not adequate and that's where you start to realize you know there are people who <laughs> never slept in their life vivekananda is known to have slept only 2 hours lady ma said never slept there is a one turiya bharat is recorded he went to rishikesh to practice this not sleep they kept on meditating meditating and then suddenly one day he found six days i have gone without sleeping and he got scared he said my god how come he said today i am going to sleep and he couldn't sleep he 
tried to sleep couldn't sleep after two days of effort he started to sleep one hour he said thank god i am a normal human being <laughs> so point is your actual rest comes in when you get onto that detachment from the mind in dream sleep shape your mind is still there with you and that's how your trouble or reliance chasing your dinosaur or something or worry 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 you notice have you realized when you get up from sleep think what do you think what is your first thought the first thought is not something great going to happen today the first thought is why did that happen yesterday is what past how could she talk to me like this how did he say that and i hope <laughs> that guy did not pay or that guy is difficult to pay or something you know you think about past and what worried about future and this is what is your mind is playing first thing you wake up in the morning and it yeah fast okay. so i often tell everybody when you go down to wash your face smile <laughs> try say hey, come on world is beautiful you are there because you're going to make it more better so samad dama titiksha not giving up i will persevere uparati what is uparati what senses the power which you were going out you have collected it now get it back inside bring it within and samadhana focus concentrate effort start the effort you'll be surprised about the biggest monkey i couldn't sit still for a minute and today i can sit for hours and so are many of us after that is very simple the sixth one is called shraddha shama dama titiksha uparati samadhana shraddha shraddha is respect knowingness like you go to physics class professor is teaching physics you don't say this guy teaching me fraud things you have shraddha respect you don't say i am reading the bhagavad gita who has written it how do i know it is written you have a respect you read that physics book you have a respect hey there is something in it i'm not understanding it it's okay i'll be with it so if the teacher ask you lady note down a beautiful big physics formula and explain to you and ask you did you understand it did you get it suppose you say ma'am I believe in you. I didn't understand it, but I believe in you, so I believe in it. Will the teacher be happy? <laughs> She said, "Hey, Bucky, I don't want you to believe in me. I want you to understand it." So this is what we have to do: become aware of it, understand it, right? That is shraddha, respect. And the last is that the journey, mumukshatta, 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 mumukshatta. Meaning, I am going to continue with the journey. So it's threefold. Actually, Viveka, Vairag, and Mumukshatam, and the third one has got six hidden one. This Sadhana Chaturshti is missing. Why Aladdin bottle lamp is not working, and why does it work for some? Because they hold on to it. They don't tell lies. They are establishing purity in life. So then, what happened? As Vedanta says, twelve years. If you establish it, then whatever you speak, the consciousness. if you believe in vedanta god or divine mother kali or shiva or krishna or allah will come and make it free you just got a thought it happened three times in the last three sunday two sundays back third sunday back in the morning sunday our guy goes up to bring the flowers and some fruits and vegetables the ragmi have so very nice mangoes <laughs> should i buy no i know shadavam doesn't eat and ira and meeda may not eat a uh, little grandson takes little bit for that it is already there i say shall i buy i don't mind once in a while maybe one stone or something should i and i said no forget it usha mam brought a box of mango for everyone <laughs> yeah see how did it come it will happen 
uh, it's not Vivekananda Street, Shankaracharya Gate, or Ramana Maharshi Gate, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Gate, Jesus Christ Gate, Allah Muhammad Gate. Now, all of us have one consciousness, different name, body form. One consciousness. So, when you go away from this room, this light, imagine it to be consciousness, just a metaphor. Will the light follow you? No. <laughs> light is not clinging to you. You are going, I'm going to miss you, so I'll come with you. Light will not, light will stay here. New people will come. Light will still be there. This furniture, that is going to stay to brightly light it. No? Same thing. As per Vedanta, new body, the new form. True religion does not believe in rebirths. Okay? They believe in life after birth, but they don't believe in rebirth. So, other than those, every other religion believes there is the karma and you have to reap the result of the karma. Whatever bad you've done then, you would ask, right? I'm not aware of my karma. I didn't. God didn't ask me, I'm going to give you birth because of your karma. I wasn't consulted that you better be ready, start behaving properly. So, why do we do it now? Why should we do it now? Very simple, good question. Very simple reason. You have the power through the spiritual way. How? To erase that karma, the bad karma. And strengthen the good karma. You have the power. You can change it. So I always think there is to be a serial going long time ago in TV. His name was, he was a chef, Chinese chef. His name was Yang, Y-A-N-G. And his show was called, If Yang Can Cook, You Can Too. <laughs> so our great rishis are saying, If we can, you can too. All of us can. We have to start. Start the moment we can. And we all are too busy with our worldly life outside. See, 365 days. Out of which, how many Sundays? 52 Sundays. Can I focus on that one hour, two hours, four hours and practice every day one hour, 24 hours? We spend eight hours at least minimum for sleep, most people. That's one third. 60 years of life, 20 years I spent sleeping. <laughs> when that one hour, maybe I'll say start with 15 minutes. It doesn't matter. Even 15 minutes is good enough. Out of 15 minutes, you can focus for just one minute, two minutes. Good enough. You'd be surprised. It's that microscopic, tiny seed of a Californian redwood oak tree grows into 330 feet tall tree. So what that one minute do for you, you cannot imagine it. Why? Because we are ignorant. We don't know. We can't see it. 